The first account, it was in a warm September, a month still haunted by the saddening winter. If well I remember, the winds still lashed, the village where, upon dusk, dogs barked, the place where, until dawn, no soul wandered. That dame, I first saw her in a mere instant, when I uttered abruptly my fearful shout of horror, blew the irises of the visage whose lips in scarlet bled my own bare neck in a silent hot ardour. The nights, gelid, were born with that silhouette, only the naive moonlight touched the parapet when under the Victorian garb came that brunette. It was a beautiful cadaver of a hair so flourished, of a woman whose beautiful face, though dead, whose vibrant death almost plainly alive, on my pulsing blood relentlessly fed. The last night it was a pure October of warmth, Cloudy was my gaze, bohemian of those cold lips that anemic turned my heart that burned of love. And so the last kiss my lips profoundly touched, and she did not bring death. Distinct was my fate. The death, so vivid, came as a cursed blessing, which I have. My dear God, accepted so straight. Ever since then, damned and accursed I observe, the fine thread of the sin which is life post-death, even if from the shallow graves, quiet and inert, we search as both after each passing sunset, and even if then death equally us embrace, if our diseased life only lives after twilight, each October to the village we return for more, life more than enough to keep the flesh alive, and death always dead, but that dies no more. It's in the duskiest books that you may find the best stories. <laughs>